Welcome back to RG Geek. I'd like to quickly compare the RG 35XX stock firmware with the Garlic OS custom firmware to help you determine if you'd like to upgrade or stick to the original stock firmware. So as you see here, they have the main menu on both devices and they're very similar. Here you have what's called game rooms, whereas on here it's called consoles. Favorites is the same. Uh, recent, this has search and settings on the stock firmware, and you have the retro arch on Garlic OS. So let's go into the favorites, or right here is just a list. And on Garlic OS, it's also just a list. So that's pretty much the same between the two. If we look at the recents, it's called history on here, and it's a list just like you might expect with some game artwork on the side. And on here, you see the screenshot of your last save point. And whenever you close a game on Garlic OS, it automatically saves, just a nice, nice convenience. You see it is also a bit sensitive here. I just barely tap it and it goes to can be a bit annoying, but I imagine it'll be fixed in an update. And people theorize that uh, Garlic OS is actually focused on making recents the, the biggest point on these devices, because I mean, it makes sense. You tend to play the same games over and over again. Why not make recent the first place you go when you um, open your device? This also has search on the stock firmware. So you could say search for Zelda. And there are all the Zelda games, right there in the list. So, to my knowledge, there is no search functionality on Garlic OS, but uh, so if that's really critical to you, then you might want to stick with stock. And we have the settings on here as well. You can see, you can see the battery life, so the percentage right there, and voltage, and charging current, and shutdown button, date and time. There is no date and time for what I could tell on Garlic OS. So I don't know if it's in the background or what. Um, input output test. You can turn button sounds on and off. You can change your theme. Most people seem to think that theme four is the looks the cleanest, and I would tend to agree with that. Uh, background settings, you can change which image is in your background, so the wallpaper. Language settings, you can change your language. Schedule power off, I'm guessing that's um, if it auto turns off or not. Backlight time, backlight brightness. So there's five settings for the backlight. And also I have to comment that uh, the brightness on um, the stock firmware is much better than at the lowest setting, the Garlic OS. In fact, you're like, you're looking at Garlic OS at the lowest setting and it's just way too bright to play in a dark room. So if you typically like to play at night before going to bed, then you might also want to stick with stock OS. To change the brightness on uh, Garlic OS, you hold down the menu button and push volume up or down. So custom buttons, clean history, clear favorite records, clear core association, and the firmware version. And note, this is the version that came with it, because I'm going to assume that most people will either decide to stick with the original firmware that they got with it, or they will um, go all out and switch to Garlic OS. So let's look at the game rooms or the consoles. So here we have a list, a very basic list on the stock firmware, which supports 17 systems. You can see them all here. And on Garlic OS, they actually support 51 systems, but I only have games for 16 of them installed. And you see here, there's no icon for the 5200, the Atari 5200, so that's just spelled out. I imagine that'll get added in a firmware update later. And I have to say, Garlic OS is getting updated pretty much every day. It's kind of shocking. Oh, well, not weekends, but, well, not every day, but it's very frequent. It's kind of amazing. Um, let's go in here and look at one of the game lists. So here you can see a game list. And I see you can add game art on Garlic OS, but I haven't done it yet. Well, let's load up a section here. Let's say 
Neo Geo game. All right, so, and these are games that came with the handheld as well. So I, I really get the feeling more or less that if you're a casual user, you just want a bunch of games installed, you don't really care that much what they are, then stick with stock, you're okay. If you're more like, I guess, discerning retro gamer, then I, there are definitely things in stock that will drive you crazy. So let's go over, let's pick a Game Boy game actually. Let's do, see they got Double Dragon on both systems. I load Double Dragon up. And you see this is uh, not the original aspect ratio of the Game Boy. Well, this is gonna be fun with the sound. All right. <laughs> All right. And there are no colorization options as well. So you're stuck with the default. So here you see, this is the proper aspect ratio. I'll turn this down. Oh, I think I activated fast forward. I did. So that's another feature that you have on here. And I'm not, I don't think I saw fast forward on the stock firmware. If it is, maybe say in the comments. But it's basically the point is uh, you have the right aspect ratio. You can see this is stretched and there's no way to change the aspect ratio, but you can upgrade the stock firmware. There's a link on Amberinix website with the new stock firmware, which will let you fix the aspect ratio. So go to menu and you can see the options in here. Exit game, save game, this gives you six slots. Load game, oh, and something else about Garlic OS I have to say really quick is that it doesn't remember the volume setting. So if you load a game, it'll be pretty loud every single time, which is kind of annoying, but I don't get used to it, I guess. Just get ready to turn the volume down each time. I imagine that'll also get fixed in a firmware update. So note, this is the firmware that was um, released on, um, January 14th, 2023. So likely in even a day, this could be outdated as there's um, updates coming all the time. So restart game is here. A video display effect as you can change from fast.matrix, HD and scanline. I like fast, so it gives you crisp pixels. HD is sort of like a get the rounded corner effect. Dot matrix puts a little um, dot matrix uh, filter on top and scan line makes it look like a CRT. So I prefer fast. And yeah, you have the five levels of brightness here, which level one is suitable for playing in the dark. And so what do we have on the garlic OS? So if you hit menu, that'll look quit actually if you have menu, but if you hold down menu and push X, you'll get to a full retro arch menu. So this is pretty cool. You have the full power retro arch right here. It also means you can go in and like change core options, Game Boy colorization, which I have to say on stock firmware, you can't colorize Game Boy, at least not on the original stock firmware. I don't know if Amberinic fixed that later. But yeah, you can customize this to your heart's content because you have full retro arch running right here. And then of course, when you make changes, you want to save that as a um, core or content directory override to um, save those for future use, future games as well on the same system. So you hit menu once or twice, I found. Sometimes you have to push it twice, I don't know why. But uh, I think that's a bug in the system. They might have even fixed it, I don't know. Uh, let's see, so we go exit here. Uh, one other feature about the stock firmware I'd like to point out is that they have a vertical arcade mode, which they don't have on um, Garlic OS, at least not yet. This lets you play games in uh, um, vertical or tate format. And you finally use the um, volume up and down as your like, fire buttons and such. So let's put in a quarter here. There we go. Oh, start. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can... oh this is fun now. I can't change the volume because I'm using it for <laughs> um, the button. So make sure you set the volume before you enter the game. There might be a way to change it, but I don't know of it at least. I mean, it's cool, but it feels kind of gimmicky and it's not very comfortable as you can imagine. I mean, I can play it. I... When we're playing for hours like this, if portrait arcade games is something that you're really into, then you might want to stick with stock firmware. All right, so let's quit and let's go this way. And I also see there's an option down here for vertical game rotate. So you can play it back in the regular. Oh, and there's speaker volume. So this is how you adjust the volume when you're in a vertical game. So, and if you want to have the vertical game actually play this direction, and then you can uh, 
disable that as well. Oh, I went to exit game here. All right. So let's get back to the main menu. Uh, one nice feature about um, Garlic OS is uh, when you play the game, so you see it right there, it's right back where I left off, but say I go to um, uh, Neo Turf Masters here, it's right in the middle of my golf game where I left it before. I can just keep playing and I don't need to think about, oh, there's a, I need to hit the save button to save this game just to keep playing, so I just go here. Let me hit this long shot here. Nice. That's right, it's a good shot. Right there on the fairway. Nice. Okay, then if I hit menu, as long as you have to hit it twice, like I said. You say recent, there it is. There's my save state. So, you don't really need to think about saving your game all the time. It just happens when you let ex exit the game. And there's an interesting feature on here. You can uh, actually put it to sleep just by tapping here on the stock firmware. But I've heard that actually uses up the full battery. I mean, as if it were on, as if the screen were on. So use it sparingly. It's, so I think I'd say the sleep function, if I've understand how it works correctly, you would use it to like, okay, I need to change trains now. And then 10 minutes later, I'm back playing or I'm gonna get off the bus and Okay, now I'm home, I'm gonna wake it up and continue my game. But um, I wouldn't leave it in sleep overnight, because I've, I've left it in sleep overnight and I woke up and I have no power, because it's drained overnight. So that's something else to keep in mind. Obviously, if you want game filters, this has four on the stock firmware and you have the full range of RetroArch filters on Garlic OS. So you're probably asking yourself by now, should I switch to Garlic OS? So I'd say if you're a less technical, casual, um, gamer, you, you're a beginner to uh, retro handhelds. Also, I have to say, if you don't want Atari or actually those other like 40 plus systems that aren't supported on the stock firmware, because I know I, I'm setting this up for a friend of the family and she really wants to have Atari 2600 games. And the stock firmware doesn't support Atari 2600, which I kind of can't believe. But so for her, stock firmware is a total no-go because it doesn't even play Atari. So if there's any the systems on there that you really want to play, you got to go with Garlic OS. Uh, also, if you really want to play with uh, the proper aspect ratio for these systems, like uh, for Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and so forth, then you'll also need to switch to Garlic OS. Although I also have to say that the uh, stock firmware was updated. So if you get the updated stock firmware, you'll also have aspect ratios if that's all you want. Um, so for Garlic OS, if you need that proper aspect ratio, if you need systems like Atari or other systems that aren't supported, those 17 systems from the stock firmware, and if you're someone who likes to tinker, then I'd say Garlic OS is the way to go. All right, so I hope this helps you figure out whether you want to go with the keep, keep the stock firmware or if you want to go with um, Garlic OS. Are you staying with stock firmware because it's a bit more stable, or are you going to take the leap into Garlic OS, or maybe you have already. Let me know. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends who are into retro handhelds, especially if they're beginners who are considering getting the RG35XX. And I'll see you next time on RG Geek.